You know, some games like to confront you with difficult decisions. Annihilate an entire town in nuclear fire or not. Make the lights at the end of the game red, green or blue tough decisions. But sometimes the hardest decisions are made off screen, like shall we even bother making this game? Well here's a list of five times in 2017 when the answer to that question sadly was no. On the 25th of October, Warframe developers Digital Extremes announced they had decided to hit the pause button on their new game The Amazing Eternals. The game was described as quote, blending first person action and deck building strategy for an all new type of free team based shooter. Outside of the first person shooter's segments, you would put together a collection of cards for your character, which gave you boosts, weapons and equipment. Despite its short lifespan, The Amazing Eternals had a successful closed alpha, but apparently it just wasn't meant to be. Digital Extremes said, quote, Unfortunately, the game wasn't attracting players fast enough to support a viable matchmaking player base with the current game design direction, which is the lifeblood of this type of game. Digital Extremes also announced that the entire Eternals team would transition over to Warframe development. It's worth pointing out that the amazing Eternals just might come back, but for now, it's on pause. Let's hope it's not Eternal. <laughs> also this year, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Let's cut that. <laughs> Also this year, just a day after The Amazing Eternals was put on indefinite pause, Amazon Game Studios announced a similar fate for their debut game Breakaway. Breakaway was pitched as a hero sports brawler with a focus on competitive online play and built-in streaming functionality. In a statement, Amazon Game Studios said, quote, Over the course of the alpha, we received a lot of feedback from you that we're taking to heart. In order to get it right, we're letting our team take the time to iterate and involve Breakaway's core gameplay to deliver what you've asked for. We aren't sure how long this will take, but we think it's the right thing to do for the game and you, the community. Amazon left the door open there, but a report from Kotaku indicates the game is never coming back. Under the headline, Amazon's breakaway is basically cancelled. The site claimed to have reports from industry insiders who told them that key members of the dev team had left in the middle of development. According to the reports, Portal creator Kim Swift had been involved, but she left in 2016 to work for EA Motive on Battlefront 2. Then there was Clint Hocking, a former Ubisoft designer who had previously worked on games like Splinter Cell and Far Cry 2, but he also left the project shortly after it was first announced. And one of the bigger cancellations this year was a game from Platinum Games. Set to be published by Microsoft Studios as an Xbox exclusive actually, Scalebound featured a fantasy world filled with dragons and knights and dropped in a modern day teen called Drew to make the game stand out a little bit. Developer Hideki Kamiya explained the game would be an open world action RPG featuring Platinum's trademark flashy combat, but with the added depth of an RPG. But after a lacklustre show at E3 2016, rumours started to circulate about the game's troubled development, with Microsoft reportedly being concerned about the budget and the dev team failing to meet several important milestones. Not long after these rumours started to emerge, Microsoft released a statement confirming the game's cancellation on the 2nd of January in 2017. They added, quote, We're working hard to deliver an amazing lineup of games to our fans this year, including Halo Wars 2, Crackdown 3, State of Decay 2, Sea of Thieves, and other great experiences. But it is perhaps worth pointing out that of those four listed games, only one Halo Wars 2 actually came out this year. Now this one is not exactly what you would call a cancelled game, but rather a bunch of cancelled DLC and updates for an existing game. After a pretty disastrous meme-laden launch for Mass Effect Andromeda, EA decided to cut their losses and stop all work on the game effective immediately, not long after Bioware's ill-fated spin-off arrived in March. This included the closure of developer Bioware Montreal, cancelling all plans for any story DLC, no more patches to the single-player portion of the game, and putting the Mass Effect series on hiatus. After Bioware Montreal was closed, the staff were sent to work at EA Motive where they joined to work on the single player campaign for Star Wars Battlefront 2. As for Bioware Edmonton and Bioware Austin, they are currently working on Anthem, which is meant to be EA's answer to Destiny. The Mass Effect series may return in the future, but the damp squib that was Mass Effect Andromeda really put a dent in the series reputation. And here we go, probably the biggest video game cancellation to happen this year, Visceral Games single player Star Wars game, codename Project Rag tag was canned along with the studio making it in October. Set between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back in the Star Wars timeline, Ragtag had you playing a human Han Solo-esque character named Dodger. The game itself was meant to be an Uncharted style linear action game with heists, shootouts and all kinds of stuff like that, but an in-depth investigation by Kotaku revealed that all was not well at all at Visceral Games and the project had been in the rough for quite a while. One former employee said quote, it felt like we were always under the threat of closure, it was a real 
really unhealthy place. Some ex-employees revealed to Kotaku many reasons for the game's cancellation, including general lack of resources, a vision that was too ambitious for its budget, a difficult game engine to work with, and a director who frequently clashed with staff. There were also some rumours that EA took issue with the single-player nature of the project and they wanted the game to have some kind of online element, which the team really did not want to do. The final straw for Project Ragtag came in October 2017, when EA announced their decision to close Visceral Games and cancel Ragtag in its current state. So there you have it, our top five games that were cancelled in 2017. Were any on those lists that you're heartbroken to hear were cancelled? Let us know down in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. There's another video on your screen now to watch. And support us on Patreon if you're awesome. We will see you again in the next one. Bye for now.